Hello, my name is David Bateson. Now, some of you might know me as the voice and face of Agent 47 from the Hitman computer game franchise. But today, I am the voice of Aslan of Narnia. To the glistening Eastern Sea, I give you Queen Lucy the Valiant. And Christopher Lee from Lord of the Rings. One ring to rule them. One ring to find them. I'm also your presenter, because here this afternoon in this hallowed ground, we are set to perform Fantas Symphony. One concert to rule them all. What exactly is your role in this concert? It's basically it's to put the whole thing together, to invent it. I'm the inventor. Fantasy, that's, uh, that's interesting in terms of uh, a narrative. It's yeah. interesting in terms of uh, how we can use a symphony orchestra. I have a, a huge knowledge about uh, the film music, but I also know a lot about the instruments yeah. and how you can use them as a, as a storytelling tool. I start with the music. I find out what is, what, what's the story that we have to tell. Yeah. How can we do that with our musical ingredients? Yeah. We, have to, we have to make it magic, we have to do that at bar one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we start to whisper, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for example. That's, you know, darkness and whisper, oh. 200 people, it's crazy. Once, once people are whispering, the audience knows this is something different. And then, you know, with a kind of magic, you, you say the whole thing. What you're about to witness is just magic. Tuva, what's it like performing in a fantasy concert? Well, it's just wonderful uh, being a tiny part of such a huge machinery. When, when I prepare for this type of thing, I prepare in the, the exact same way as I prepare uh, a leader abend, for instance. Yeah. I, I study the text, I study the music, and I let it simmer in the back of my head and I wait for it to talk to me, so I find where it resonates with me on a personal level. And when I stand there uh, and have to deliver, I yeah. try to stay as humble and open as possible, and hopefully it will resonate with the audience. Because, you know, the, the themes in these films and books are mm. so universal, so uh, I, I, I yeah. don't want to narrow it down. I really enjoy sitting in the pit with the orchestra, being one of the orchestral instruments. This marvelous orchestra, fantastic concert chorus, and the talented young singers of the junior chorus. It feels ethereal, but also it resonates. It has a life of its own. What's your favorite piece in this? It must be the one from Willow. When I heard it for the first time, it was like, oh my God, this is, this is Mozart's Requiem. He's taken yeah. bits of Mozart and put it into the music and augmented it. And it really, and, and it sounds almost the same, but still there's this edge to it. I, I really adore sitting next to the musicians and just being in the vibe. I'm a huge fan of, uh, of fantasy in general, so I've watched all the movies when I was a kid and it was quite easy to remember, okay, this scene from Willow, I remember the flute coming in, how it changes, I remember the exact scene. I talked to you the other day and you mentioned that 
you really this is a, a playground for you this this concert because you it, there's so much that it's been beautifully written for your talents how often does that happen not very often and and nothing on this scale this is the first time i've had nine different flutes with me on stage um <laughs> <laughs> they must hate you at uh when you go through a metal detector at the airport you know? yeah I this explain i'm glad i don't have to travel with this this is this would be a oh, really? that would be a task yeah. How do you feel about the Hobbit theme? It's it's got all all the hallmarks of like the perfect folk melody, even though it's composed by a modern composer. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's just it's got a lovely simple tune. Yeah. He writes the original for a penny whistle, something That's something like this. Um, and in the movie, it comes back four, five, six times maybe. Yeah. We decided for a concert rather than play it on the same instrument each time. We try the last time on a low whistle, something with a slightly darker color, a um, little bit more soft-spoken. Um, the way Howard Shore orchestrated it, it's a tune that is allowed to sort of blossom by itself yes. uh, with, with uh, that sort of penny whistle voice or the low whistle voice as we're doing it here um, with, a, with a very muted string accompaniment. And it, and it seems to carry more weight somehow, more, um, more lyrical intensity just for, the, just for the simplicity alone. It just haunts you. Uh, yes, very haunting, yeah. 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 We did a rehearsal the other day, and I'm standing down or sitting down there, and I can't see what's going on up here. And I was looking down at my script, and suddenly I heard this sound. And I looked up straight away and went, What the? What? What's going and, on? I know, and I saw Jakob, you, just sort of bent over. Okay, what is he doing? It's actually the sound of the chains, heavy chains, and I'm, I'm dipping them into the into the tam tam. It's a, you know it's this very famous spot where Sauron he makes this big wall of the orcs, and it's like very industrial, very dark sounds. It's below the ground. They they're burning down trees. They don't care about mankind. The rest of the orcs they they play five. The, you know this army. It yeah. doesn't go straight ahead. It's like very scary. So that's why it's in five, five, four. La da da, go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. La da da, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ba da da. I, I'm here on chains. My colleague is on play the anvil. He's oh. slamming the anvil. Play the anvil? Yeah. Ba da da. Yeah. Ba da da. And then we got uh, big drum and like big gong, tam tam, big metal, deep sounds. Oh, heavy metal stuff. This is a, <laughs> this is a playground, this yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Da, da, da. And together we'll change. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. How do they write that in the score? It's just it's just dots on a on a paper. Don't hit <laughs> an anvil. Yeah, exactly. It's just it's, it says anvil. <laughs> hit it, baby. So, hit it hard. Yeah. First of all, I like to think about the role of the conductor as being someone who inspires people. Of course, sometimes you get the impression that the conductor is there like a traffic guy who's saying, you stop, you go, <laughs> no, you're too fast, be careful over there. Um, and it is part of the picture because when we are talking about a project like Fanta Symphony, you have so many people involved so many technical aspects even behind the scene. So you have two choirs who are very far away. Yeah. You have soloists in very different places. Now someone needs to be like the beacon of light, a sense of yeah. saying, okay, this is the way we're going. And I try with every mean I have available to make them follow and bring it together. Gee, hey, what does it feel like to perform in this concert? First of all, this being like with this makeup and also costume, 
and the outfits, the overall outfits makes me feel like I'm the part of the fantasy universe and also atmosphere of the music is so fantastic so I'm really happy to uh, be there. I won't disturb you anymore. I'll leave you to uh, create magic here and I'll see you on see you on the stage. Well, leave her to it. Where's my makeup artist? <laughs> Congratulations. We really moved them tonight. It was an extraordinary performance. Uh, did you notice the, the 15 seconds of total silence? That's just magical. I've got a last question here. Is there a church in Copenhagen missing a bell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those, you don't buy those at your local uh, hardware store. No, we don't. It's a bell of doom. That's, that's what the whole thing, the whole concert is about that bell. It's about going from something extremely light. Yeah. Okay. We yep. start out, we have, we have a kind of magic. We have, uh, we have the, the, the um, uh, Harry Potter stuff. Uh, the willow is actually a quite a, it's, it's, it's a quite a light uh, yeah. atmosphere in that in that piece, um, and then gradually it go, grows darker and darker and darker, and then you have the total downfall with the bell, yeah. you know, doom. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, meeting all these talented uh, people uh, at Danmarks Radio and Fantasymphony. Symphony. Thank you. <laughs>